let's talk about the short backswing position. So what surprises most golfers I get the chance to work with is how they end up hitting the golf ball much further with a shorter backswing. And I'm going to explain to you guys as to the reason why this is, the same as I do for the guys I get the chance to work with. See, what happens with most amateurs is that you kind of get the idea of the backswing sequence wrong. You start turning too soon, the rotation lends itself to the head moving, and then what happens is your arms end up having to bend, and you kind of end up in a position that looks something like this, where it might feel like it's a full backswing if you look where my club head is, but what's happened is my arms have bent excessively and my head has moved, right, like so. And then all of a sudden, if we now apply width, it's going to feel like a really sort of short swing, but the club is like way out of position. It's almost like I'm sort of moving it around like this and dragging it. So what I always do with students, I always give them the feeling that they're lifting the club up in the air. So what you want to be making sure you're doing with this backswing sequence is not incorporating loads of rotation really early on. What you want to be doing is get the feeling that your hands and arms are moving very much first as you keep your head still, because doing that, by focusing on my hands and arms and making sure my upper body moves first, this creates what's known as a separation, which produces an element of tilt. And what the tilt does is as I move my arms up into the air to the side of me, this gets me into a really good early backswing position where I'm keeping the club out in front of me, producing a nice amount of tilt. And then from there, I can just lift my arms up. And although this might be a very short backswing position, it's a very powerful backswing position. And the reason why, let me use my swing buddy rope trainer here to help visually portray this. Because if I'm somebody who moves a lot, bends my arms excessively, then the problem is, is how am I now gonna release this? I'm gonna get really stuck. And if I do that left-handed like this, this is about as best as I can cope. See my left shoulder gets stuck here, this sacrifices all the speed. If I change that now, so I lift my arms up into the air and I end up in this position, look where my left shoulder is as opposed to where it was before. See the way it's more underneath my chin. And then from here, I can retract that shoulder back and I can produce a tremendous amount of clubbing speed. And this is what I tend to see, like I say, all the time with students that I get the chance to work with, the ones that become really sort of convinced and they work more on the idea of lifting their arms, keep their head still, lift their arms up. It will feel very different particularly if, like I say, you're perceived with the idea you're supposed to turn to it from the inside. But if you start lifting your arms up into this place, you can then very quickly work on that retraction of that left side. And that's how you end up with a short, powerful golf swing. See you soon.